Hey guys, Angus here. Gonna be doing something a little bit different today. How to. Really don't do these videos too often. However, there's a foot of snow on the ground right now. Whenever somebody sees snow in one of my videos, they ask me, how do I make good winter camo? So today, gonna be going over how to make a decent winter camo setup for a snowy environment out of simple household items. This is to provide you with some winter camouflage for snow and also to protect vital areas such as your hand guard in order to keep the battery compartment dry. So let's go inside and I'm going to show you how to set up a decent camouflage setup for an M4A1. Alright, so now let's get into depth on how to set up your winter camo. Now the gun we're going to be using to demonstrate this is my own GNP M4A1 United States Marine Corps model with full stock. Because simply M4s are what most people use and therefore this camo video will apply to most people. But you could probably do this to basically any other gun that you have if it's not an M4. Anyway, what you're going to need for this is some pretty simplistic items. Just your airsoft gun, about four rubber bands, at least four. You can use more if you want it a little tighter held down. An ordinary bath towel, a sock, and a normal t-shirt. As long as they're white, it'll work. So, first step on here is you're going to want to cover your handguard. Now, in most M4A1s, they have the collapsible crane stock, and therefore the battery is mainly held in the handguard, and sometimes a stock. An important part of the winter camo, you want to make sure that it covers where your battery is. That way it's also giving you, you want to make sure it covers where the battery is. Because typically, as you can see in the handguard, they do have these holes down here for if you wanted to mount a rail on there. And an important part of the camo is not just to keep your gun camouflaged. It's also to protect that battery and keep it dry. That's why I'd recommend using something absorbent, such as a bath towel. All right, so starting off with covering the handguard using the bath towel, we are just going to take it and roughly wrap it around. You kind of want to have it overlap here so that it's more even. And there you are. As you can see, it's kind of covering up your front sight a bit, but as long as that front sight post is on there, you should be fine. And as you can see on my gun, I typically have an ACOG, so I really don't have to use the iron sights too much. Now, once you have that done with this wrapped around, you're going to take your rubber band. This one you might want to have a little bit bigger than the other ones you're going to be using for the stock. And there you are. As you can now see, the handguard is covered with that white bath towel. If you want, if you want to secure the towel a little bit more, you can add a second rubber band. However, one rubber band will work just fine, as you can see here. Now as for the pistol grip, this is a pretty simple one. You can just take a normal sock. You want to try and keep it as white as possible. So I recommend using Clorox bleach uh, to keep them white. Of course, this isn't really white. Anyway, what you're going to want to do is take the sock and put it over the pistol grip as if it basically were your foot that you were putting it on. Allow it to go up to about here. And now you're going to take the remaining tail of the sock, because this is pretty long, and you can simply stuff it down inside the rest of the sock that'll make give you a little bit thicker of a pistol grip however honestly it's very soft and it gives you nice comfort there and there you go your pistol grip now has some makeshift winter camo on it now onto the stock and now for the stock now this is where it's going to get a little bit different since most m4a ones are equipped with a crane stock uh this isn't really going to apply to many people mine is a full stock so mine's a little bit easier to cover for a crane stock, you're going to have to do a little bit more customization than I do with mine. As you can see, I've already placed a t-shirt onto it. This requires basically setting it even on both sides and then folding it under. This will make the stock a little bit thicker, but again, it'll make it a little bit more comfortable. And you want to typically take the thicker part and put it on the side where your cheek will rest to give you a little bit more comfort. Now to secure this, I recommend just taking two or three rubber bands and wrapping them around in order to hold this t-shirt in place. As you can see, I was able to find a pretty white t-shirt, which is something you want to make sure you can do so that you have whiter camo instead of the dirty ones that you've been wearing around all day. And as you can see there, just going to put on two. It looks pretty good as you can see. I'm going to do a little bit pan of the winter camouflage. We got the handguard, keeping your battery dry if it's in the handguard. Got the pistol grip for a little bit of additional camo and then down to the stock where your battery may be held as well and that'll just give you a larger amount of camouflage. You can also even go even more out of your way, cover up your sight or your magazine with electrical tape. It's your choice. Let's go out and see how this looks in the snow. All right, and now we're outside. As you can see, winter camouflage. It honestly doesn't look that bad blended in with the snow. We got the bath towel handguard up here. Keeping the handguard dry if your battery were inside of it also provides a little bit of comfort. Same with the pistol grip using the sock. It's more comfortable, also gives you a little bit more camouflage. 
and the stock more comfort and a, quite a bit of camouflage. So this has just been a quick simple how-to video using four rubber bands, a bath towel, a sock, and a t-shirt. You can make some okay winter camo. So this has just been a quick video, makeshift winter camo. If it only snows once in a while, this will get the job done. If you live someplace where it's always snowing, such as Maine, Massachusetts, you might want to do something a little bit more complex. But for once in a while snow, this is good winter camo. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.